Hi everybody, this is Kathy L. Murphy, the Pulpa Queen, and I'm here with you every Saturday night at 6.30 for my online um, International Pulpa Queens and Timber Guys book and film club. So many of the books that I have selected have gone to film and I've always been a big fan of, of films from the time I was a little girl. My mother wanted to be a movie star, so some of the happiest times that I remember as a child was all getting all my sisters gathered on the divan, turning out all the lights, having Coca-Colas and popcorn and watching films. And in my first book, The Pulp of Queens, Tara Wearing Book Sharing Guide to Life, I list all those books, my top 15 books. And I just realized last week from my program that most almost every single one of those has gone to film. So tonight I, I wanted to go back to the classics because this month um, we're going to have um, classic films because I've gone back to the very first films that were ever done. I've watched every, I really, really love the films of the 30s and 40s, but there's a few that just stand out. And tonight I wanna to feature because I had somebody tell me, um, on Facebook they that my eyes remind of Betty Davis. I, I really think I have more Roy Rogers eyes because they're so squinty, but uh, Betty Davis just happens to be one of my absolutely all time favorite actresses. I've watched every one of her films over and over. I have read her books. I go on YouTube and I watch all the interviews and she had a thing for leopard. So I wore my leopard tonight because of that. And the first thing I'm gonna share with you is uh, from the time I was little, you know, even before I was reading, we watched a lot of television. And I can remember when the Alfred Hitchcock show, The Birds came on, I was just absolutely fascinated with the story of the birds and Tippi Hendren. She was to me the ultimate um, glamor movie star of the 1960s. And so I recently had gotten this book, Tippy, a memoir of Tippy Hendren. And what's so funny is my very first autograph book, and it's here somewhere in the house, was The Cats of Shambhala. Uh, she raised big cats, refuge. And I have this exact signature with the birds in the book of Tippy Hendren. But this is um, just, Wonderful. It's probably another reason why I have a thing for ravens and I have them all over my house. They're everywhere. Uh, another book that I recently ordered um, was I grew up with a love of The Wizard of Oz. Growing up in Kansas, that was just like something you watched every year and it was usually in the spring. And it's, um, but I heard about this book, Me and My Shadows. It's a family memoir by Lorna Luff, which is her daughter. And I've always been in love with everything that has to do with Judy Garland and Lorna Luft and her also her sister too. I, I just think it's a very interesting family. So I love to read these Hollywood memoirs. And when I was down in New Orleans at the Tennessee Williams Festival, I got to meet John Lahr's um, son, Bert Lahr, who, if you don't know who that was, I'm sorry it doesn't have the cover on it, but um, John Lahr was the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz. So I had to order his book and it's absolutely fascinating. And what was really uncanny for me is how much his son looks exactly like his dad. He could be his clone. But I read all these books, but I also collected for years, I've got a lot of Hollywood photos around my house. Uh, one year at, um, in uh, a book expo, I got to meet Butch from the Little Rascals and got his autograph. And uh, he lives in he lived in Dallas with his wife. And uh, fascinating story, nicest man ever. And remember how mean Butch was in the Little Rascals. But I grew up on Little Rascals. I would watch them every night after school and on the weekends. So our gang was part of my thing. And then recently, I had gotten a. Um, uh, one of my friends who was a uh, Hollywood memorabilia collector in Marshall um, passed away and I went to his estate sale. I went every day because every day I would get even more and more and more. But one of the things I, 
I purchased, and I know it wasn't Mark Wright because they didn't know what it was, but I did because he had told me about it because I'm a big Phyllis Diller fan. When I was a, a little kid, most people dressed as Cinderella or Superman or, you know, all these um, characters, storybook characters. I would go as movie stars <laughs> for Halloween, and I can remember showing up at my friend Loretta Olson's um, uh, garage. She had a garage a Halloween party, and I came in costume as Phyllis Diller, and I had on the sparkly tint dress, the pointy boots, and back then I had those spindly legs, and my mom let me borrow this bleach blonde wig that we teased all out and had a long cigarette holder and I went walking up the drive driveway going Fang has anybody seen Fang where's my husband Fang and I'm telling you the looks <laughs> kids faces were like what are you but anyway my my good friend Heidi Tysgrover knew I was a big Phyllis Dillis Diller fan and I've got her sign book and I've got her feather boa I actually have her ostrich boa, but she got me this. Um, I don't know where she got it. It's signed to Karen, but close enough. I'll take it. But it's uh, love to Karen, Phyllis Diller. And uh, that's pretty much what I wore for Halloween. And I used to have those legs. So it was not a far stretch for me, but I have loved everything about um, the magic and the mystery and the pizzazz of Hollywood since I was a small child. So tonight I wanted to share with you this film. It's one of my absolute favorites of Betty Davis. And I have a lot of, a lot of her favorites, you know, the Little Foxes. Um, uh, the movie that's probably the first one that I ever really saw was my mother took us to go to the movie theater. My mother didn't censor our reading or our movie watching. And she took me when I was in the third grade to see Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. I still have nightmares <laughs> about that. And I watched it the other day and it's, I just can't imagine why I was so scared. But I remember when the head went rolling down the steps, I was just in horror over the magic of Hollywood. But Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte, uh, Betty Davis is the great. And I just wanted to tell you that um, in this world, where life is ever changing. And we are having a hard time dealing with all the difficulties that are out there uh, with COVID and social distancing and being away from friends and family. I started this whole film club because every Saturday night after I do all my painting and writing and reading, I have to let my eyes rest a little bit. So I darken the room, I get me iced tea and popcorn and I go to the movies and I thought, well, why can't I do this a lot, you know, not by myself? Well, I'm really excited to tell you all that before I even present what's next, that I have a new co-host for the Book and Film Club and it's the author, Robert Gwaltney, who's as big a film buff as me. I just talked to him. We're gonna be having coffee time tomorrow to talk about it. And we're gonna be going to the movies every Saturday night or as much as he can, because I know our lives are very busy. But if you want to join us, um, you'll have to join my book club at The Pulpwood Queen at email me at thepulpwoodqueen at gmail.com. And uh, I will send you the Zoom link, but you need to be a member. So go to www.thepulpwoodqueen.com and join. We have author membership. We have book club membership. We have an international membership. We even have publisher publicist membership. It's a yearly membership. It's non-refundable and it automatically renews because I have literally now thousands of members with over 800 chapters around the world, y'all. So please join me. And this way we can all be in conversation. And I promise to make it fun because I, when I started my book club, I had a, and I've told this story many a time, I had a book club invited me, but they told me they only invited me as a guest because only eight people could be in the club. And that'll all be in my next book. But the thing about it is, who makes up these rules in our life that we have to do things a certain way? I don't think outside the box, there is no box. 
I thought I'm gonna start a book club and I'm gonna include everybody, regardless of race, color, religion, where you live in the world, whether your hair is color treated. I don't care if you wanna join my book club and talk about books and movies and film and stories and songwriting. This is what it's all about. Let's just have some fun. So tonight, this movie won so many Academy Awards in so many categories. It um, originally was going to be have the um, Betty Davis role cast as uh, Claudette Colbert, who is another one of my favorite authors in the whole wide world. She's a comedic genius. But Betty Davis is the full package. I mean, this woman can deliver a line. I want to be just like Betty Davis. I love it. So when someone, when I think it was James Conroy Martin who compared me to Betty Davis eyes, I was like, thank you. I love her. And I want to show you something before we go to the film that I found at a little uh, boutique that sells antiques just down the road in Winsboro, Texas. I was in the bathroom Yes, in the bathroom, because it takes a while to drive over there. And on the wall in the bathroom was this pastel drawing. I went out and I said, by any chance, is this for purchase? And they said, yes. And as a matter of fact, we're having a big sale. And I got this beautiful, beautiful, it looks like it's done with colored um, chalk. Uh, I got this beautiful, um, it's quite old, but it, it's by the artist R. Gillum. It's even got his address, 262 South 21st Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he did such a marvelous job. This hangs in my bathroom now, and I just think it's fabulous. So I was trying to do the Betty Davis eyes tonight, you guys. I did the best I could and get my wonderful little swirl so anyway this is betty davis and she is just so beautiful i there's something about her that just touches me because she is such a was such a strong woman but at the same time i i always saw in her performances an underlying vulnerability that just touched me so much I love strong women in films, Barbara Stanwyck, uh, Irene Dunn, uh, Claudette Cor Corbert. I, I just love all the actresses from um, that time when Hollywood was glamor and glitz. So thank you for joining me at the Pulp Queen Film Club. I hope now that you will go to your favorite online streaming and watch All About Eve. And this is a uh, wonderful, wonderful film. It uh, really took away just about every Academy Award you can ever imagine. And the co-stars in this film, every single one of them is a uh, diamond in the Pulp of Queen Tierra. So watch All About Eve. And next week, we're going to be back and we're going to be talking about one of my other favorites. I am the biggest Tennessee Williams fan. And I always love to go to the Tennessee Williams um, Literary Festival in New Orleans because you just never know who you're going to see there. Carol Baker was there one year. I mean, all these, I loved her in Baby Doll. Um, and you get to see the plays. There's lots of Broadway actresses. Uh, I'm hoping to do some of it online this year. It's coming up. But um, the film we're going to watch is one of my absolute favorites because it's Paul Newman and Elizabeth Taylor, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So join Robert Gwaltney and I next week, 6.30 at uh, Saturday night. If you will email me at thepulpwoodqueen at gmail.com, I'll send you the Zoom link if you're a member. So please join us. And we're gonna have a wonderful spring, you all. We can get through all these trials and tribulations. I <laughs> I had to laugh. I was all ready and powdered up and and dolled up for tonight. And then I realized that it was getting hotter and hotter in here. My air conditioner just quit you all. In the midst of hitting, being hit by an ice storm, now I have my air conditioner out. So it's like Murphy's Law strikes again. But I will persevere because as long as I can read, I can write, I can paint, and I can share my passions with all of you, I am a happy camper.
So we'll, we'll see you at the movies. And if you feel like discussing, please go on to my Kathy L. Murphy channel on YouTube and click subscribe and the little bell icon. If you click on it, it will give you all the events that I do and you can comment. I would love to hear what you think about the films that I'm picking. And I'm so excited about Robert Walton joining me next week. So we'll see you then. We've got a full week ahead with lots happening. So uh, stay tuned to my Kathy L. Murphy Facebook page. And we will, um, I gotta go make some popcorn y'all. So we'll see you at the movies. Bye for now, till next time. Bye-bye.